Yo, what's up guys? Turn Green Go Ham here. Welcome on back to the Dark Souls 3 100% walkthrough. So, uh, in the last episode we took down High Lord Walnir and uh, spoke about several quest lines that uh, are ready to be pushed forward. Before we do that though, let's take a look here. We've got our Pyromancy Flame at plus 4 and our Claymore at plus 3. So, regular Titanite shards aren't going to do us any good anymore. We're going to look over here. <laughs> Let's see, yes, we do have enough. We're gonna go ahead and push that to plus five. Do not be gone for and then I actually want my Claymore to hit a little bit stronger. I'm gonna go ahead, and I know this is a, a bad idea, but we are fixing to go to an area that gives a lot of large Titanite shards. Um, so before we're ready to upgrade again, we'll have plenty enough to max the uh, Pyro Glove to plus six, as well as go ahead and burn these two. To oh souls, Pretty be careful. Uh, to bring our claymore up a level as well to get some more damage out of it. Uh, so we're gonna burn a soul here real quick. Forgot what I was doing for a second. Here we go. And now we've got some more damage. Okay, so first let's handle Sirius's quest. The reason why is because we need to go across the bridge to trigger the next portion of Grey Rats as well. We'll head to Irithyll of the Boreal Valley. And here we go, big alligator lizard type thing time. Let's go. As soon as we walk a decent amount away from the door, he's gonna spawn in. I can't say this enough guys, just one at a time. Oh, and make sure you hit your rolls. Let's grab a heal real quick. I seem to be whiffing a lot. He is kind of hard to see around. And that does kind of suck. Even when he rolls by and you supposedly dodge it. He'll still hit you sometimes. And there we go, take him down. Could have done that quite a bit cleaner, but hey, we got him, no big deal. He can be a bit rough. So you get the Pontiff's left eye. We're gonna head on down here. Grab some items real quick. It should be Homeward Bones, yep. One homeward bone. Because we have the doll, so I misspoke in a previous episode because, uh, you know, Dark, Dark Souls 1. Uh, the doll that you get lets you through this fog right here. It has nothing to do with the uh, painted world. That's uh, Dark Souls 1 stuff. Getting my, my games mixed up just a little bit. You can hear a crystal lizard down there. We'll get to him in a little while. I'm gonna head over here. Grab a soul. And then, did we miss it? I thought there were two on this side. Maybe there's two on the other side. I know there's three items here. Here we go. There's this. Another large soul. There it is. And the Rhyme Blue Moss Clump. 
It's gonna be your uh, frost protection. So, cop squad here, get a rest. Once you do that, you'll be able to head back here and you'll see Cirrus's sign on the ground to push her quest line further. And there it is. So you want to click this and yes, answer Cirrus's uh, call for cooperation. We're going to head into her world and help her take down a phantom. Now this guy will destroy Cirrus. So you need to do damage to him and you need to uh, kind of stay on him. Do be mindful though, he's going to try to keep you from using Estus. So stay ahead of the curve on that. He's out of Estus now, but he does have the heal. Come on, Sirius, get up here. Get a nice backstab on him. I'll go ahead and heal a little bit here. Out of magic, so we're gonna do this the old fashioned way here. And there we go. Duty fulfilled. Thank you for your kind assistance. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. So we're gonna to return to our own world. Uh, she's going to go back to Firelink, and we're going to have a little dialogue with her. She's going to give us some items and then uh, pledge her loyalty to us. Now, you can shortcut the rest of her quest line if you want to and not lose any items, which is what we're going to go ahead and do. This is kind of the end of the road for her quest line. So we'll travel back to Firelink. Hmm. I have not thanked you for your generous rescue. That dark spirit was one of Rosaria's fingers. Vile bastard offspring who lurk in the darkness. My sworn enemies. Fearsome invaders, to say the least. I would not have made it alone. You have my deepest gratitude. So there you can see we get her weapon and her ring, the silver cat ring. If you require help on your travels, I offer you my sign. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. So you can use her uh, in another uh, boss fight. Um, and you can actually help her with another boss. However, the rewards are the same. If you require help on your track, blessing of the moon. Um, no matter what you do in the end. Uh, you know what? We're just going to leave her. We're going to leave her alive so we can show you where all she would show up. Um, we're not in a hurry to do Rosario's Fingers, but she did mention Rosario's Fingers. Um, and that's, you know, kind of your key if you follow her quest line first, uh, to know that if you do anything with 
uh, Leonhard up there, uh, that she's just going to give up on you. Uh, so next thing we're going to do is actually right outside Firelink. Wrong direction. We're going to go out here after the fog goes away. You know, I really wish they would make a, a PS5 update for this game so that you could have all the uh, instant loading times and all that good stuff. When you're in Virelink, it doesn't want to let you out. Um, there we go. We're going to head down here because we bought some dark magics from Arena. Morn took her away. As you can see there, there's Morn. Not Morn, Egon. He's, he's got the Morn's hammer, sorry. Myself very clear. He is going to be brutal if he hits you. Ooh. Yep, like that. He has no Estus. Just kind of space him out and take him down, though. So we get the Morn's Great Hammer and the Moaning Shield. Now we can also get his armor. And sometimes she will not actually show up. So what we're going to do... Actually, there she is. My bad. Uh, who is there? Someone there? Anyone? Oh. Talk to her oh, twice. Sweet champion, where have you been? Please, you little creatures. Had... And she's gonna poof back to in here. Matter of fact, we're closer to this bonfire than we are to fire link. Let's just pour it real quick. And if we pop down here, let's see, Arena is back. Oh, please, the little creature. So you can see you can still uh, do everything with her, which we need to wait to give her the last uh, good tome. We're not going to pick that up until Lothric Castle. So we want to wait, turn that into her, then she'll have all of her spells. At which time you can buy the rest of the dark spells from her and she'll finish her dark quest line. Uh, then you can uh, go ahead and kill her uh, and give her ashes to the shrine handmaiden. You'll be able to buy all the good spells from her. Uh, you just don't want to buy any good spells, or at least not all of them. Uh, we did get a pyromancy tome. Let's go ahead and turn that in. <laughs> well, well, this inscription... This tome is from the catacombs. Fascinating. On this day, the teacher learns alongside the pupil. <laughs> and then if we try to give him this one... I'm afraid I cannot accept this. This pyromancy tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself let alone teach it to you. It is a spell forbidden in the Great Swamp, and nearly everywhere else, too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. So he won't take it. We'll get um, a lady who's going to teach us all the dark stuff later. Uh, but as you can see here, we got Karthus Flame Arc. That's going to be... Uh, a nice buff for fire on the right hand weapon if we don't want to carry uh, pine. Uh, and then a few other spells as well. We already had great combustion. Uh, I want to say the fire surge is new. Um, and Karthus Beacon. Damage increases with consecutive attacks. Do not be gone for luck. So we've got that done. Let's go over and talk to Grey Rat. 
He's interested that we found Irithyll. Oh, hello. Fine work, I say. Discovering Irithyll in the Boreal Valley all in a day's work. If the tales are true, it is home to old moon-worshipping nobles and should be packed with treasure. What do you think? Shall I go and see what I can find? Yes, send him to pillage. Hmm, a fine choice. I am Grey Rat the Thief. What I bring back will be worthy of that name. <laughs> and if you talk to him, Grey Rat the Thief. <laughs> uh, eventually he will say, I shall be gone for some time. Well, if you don't do certain things, he will be gone forever. So, uh, if we head back to the... Actually... Go ahead and buy the armor while we're here. We need Sigurd's armor. He's stuck in a well, and we're going to go help him. Patch his squat. Oh, hello again. Well, can't resist it, can you? So we are going to purchase the helm. The chest. We need the rest of it. What kind of souls do we have? Five thousand. Matter of fact, that might get it done. Yes. There we go. We have his whole set. Thanks. Now we need to go back to the cleansing chapel. There we go. Let the guy ramble on again. You'll notice the exploding hollow is no longer patrolling down here. This guy's still here. We'll take care of him. And then if you approach the well, So our favorite onion nut has got himself in a pickle. Oh. I know that voice. Just how long has it been? It's me, Siegfried of Katarina. I'm loath to admit it, but I've been had. Someone's swiped my armor. Did you happen to see it anywhere? Okay, so you want to throw him his armor? He's going to go save Grey Rat in Irithyll, so this is important. Um, Patches obviously swiped it. That's why he had it in the cathedral when we met him. Get the rejoice gesture. And if you talk to him again, he's like, nah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. No need to worry about me. With my trusty suit of armor, I'll be until we meet. <laughs> okay, so we're done with that portion. If we go back to Firelink, we'll see that Grey Rat is gone. There he is, his little squad over there is empty. Once that's empty, you know he's on the way and we know we have Sigurd out there to help him. Um, so he's gonna make it back alive. His trigger for coming back is the next time you kill a boss. Well, that stray demon we came across counts as a boss. So that's where we're headed now. 
Uh, we're going to go to High Lord Walner's Travel Stone. So as we get back to High Lord Walner's bonfire, we're going to turn around and go back to the bridge, make the ladder again, all that good stuff. Uh, this guy, he's a fire demon. You're going to want a shield on, but two-hand your weapon. Uh, he's a fire demon like the one we fought with Seaward. He's just way more animated, much more hopper, uh, and has a few other attacks up his sleeve, like um, uh, the same thing you get with weapons where you can do the weapon art and uh, gain hopper armor. He does that, but it um, staggers you, so you'll want to watch out for that. Uh, and his swings are, are crazy delayed, uh, and it's almost impossible to perfectly roll his, his swings there. Uh, but there's also going to be a couple of um, skeletons that show up. They're going to attack him. He's going to attack them. It's actually going to be helpful for you to have them in here. Just kind of ooh, keep rolling between his legs here. Heal up when you can. Excuse me, skeletons. Oh my gosh. Did he fall down? Good. Let's deal with this guy first. Get out of here. <laughs> he just clomping around down there now? Here he comes. We're gonna roll down here to miss the fire breath. It's kind of dangerous because we're gonna, you know, get all those skeletons involved. Uh, but as I said before, they will damage him, so that's a bonus if they get up here. If I could see, it would be nice. One more hit. There we go. He's down. So use the skeletons to your advantage, guys. Get your soul of a demon. And then we're gonna finish off these skeletons. Bear in mind, keep watching your uh, soul counter there. These guys are gonna respawn several times. Pull one or two at a time. So we can grab the items down here. We did grab one item on the way through earlier. There is another item, and then we've got a Mimic. All right, got souls from him. He's not coming back. He's not coming back. Ooh, nice. go grab our large soul another one yep another one just tons of skeletons down here and there we go so let's head on up take care of our mimic this isn't a weapon we'll use, but we'll go ahead and grab it since we're here. And matter of fact, we'll just uh, we'll do this the cheesy way that I showed you. Give us the loot. Black blade. 
Okay, so let's head back to this bonfire. We'll head back to uh, Firelink just to go see what Grey Rat picked up. And then in the next episode is where we will uh, start with the uh, abandoned tomb and um, all of the fiery, nasty pit that follows. So uh, let's go ahead and head on back. Talk to Grey Rat. We killed a boss, so he will be back there. Well, that's what I said anyway. I guess that has to be a major boss. No big deal. We've got another one coming up. Let's see if Patches asks where he is. I'm curious because we got his armor. Nope, he's not going to ask about him. Can't find anything you like. Okay, so guys, in the next episode, we're going to continue on. Uh, head into the lava pits. We've got a uh, fire boss down there to kill. Before we do, though, we got a soul from High Lord Walner. And that can actually give us a spell that will come in quite handy for that boss. So as you see here, we have Black Serpent. Uh, the other thing you can get is Wolner's Holy Sword, and it's not a bad sword. It's not a great sword, but it's not a bad sword. Um, it scales with Faith, which we're going to have plenty of in the end. Um, but we're not going to have any Strength or Dex, so you're only going to get one portion of scaling out of it. This is really uh, more tailored to an actual Faith build. Um, you know, something that you're going to pump some Strength into. Uh, but we're going to pick up Black Serpent. We're going to equip it. It's not a huge damage dealer. However, the boss we're going to fight is highly immune to fire. So if we pick this up, we'll have an easier time killing him. Uh, so guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit me up in that comments section down below. Uh, the next episode, we'll kill another boss and we'll start looting the area and we'll get Gray Rat back here so we can see what he has plundered. So, uh, till the next video, guys, thanks for watching.